This lesson is on how to use the date part function in a database query. Now, as always, we're going to use our Ace Climbers Holidays um, database for this set of lessons. So what we're going to do here is we're going to have a look at the start date. And we're going to create a query that will be able to show which months the trip start. So all we're going to do is going to create query design. I'm just going to use the trips table for this one just now. I'm not going to do anything awfully complicated. And why don't I pull down the trip ID, the trip, and I'm going to pull down start date. Just to show you what we're going to have here. So we have the trip ID, trip and start date. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a field here that will just show the months. Back into design. I'm going to make this bigger because we're going to write quite a lot here. I want to delete start date. Save me typing it in later. So I'm going to create a field title, month. Put in my colon, so that's my title created. Then I'm going to use my function, so it's going to be date part. I'm going to open up my bracket and I'm going to do months. This works just as easily for days, so if you want to put in a day, you just um, inverted commas D, inverted commas. Then the second part of the argument, so I'm going to have a comma. And it's going to look up the start date. Now, as always, we're going to put this in square brackets. And then I'm going to close my bracket. So we have a title that's identified by the colon here. We have the function date part. Open up your brackets to start the function. Close your brackets and the function's finished. There are two parts, two arguments to this function. We're going to have M for month, which is an inverted commas, comma, second part of the function, start date. And let's run this. There we are, and now we just have the months. I'm going to um, do just something else in this. Why don't we create a parameter query for this? So, as always, parameter queries go in square brackets. Enter number of months and close my bracket and now when I run this how about see what's going in October is see okay there we are now for these climbers holidays I think this would be a pretty useful query because it would show them exactly what trips are going at what month and that's that lesson